Good afternoon. It's Tuesday. It's November 1st. And that means that our family is done with our whole 30. So I wanted to do a quick recap. I'm going to try to keep it quick. I realize that's a problem for me, but I'm going to do my best to keep it short and just give you an overview of how it went for us. So the reason that we started on October 2nd was not to make things confusing. It was because I was um, out of town and I was flying back on the second so that's why we started the second and yes I realized that we did not have any candy on Halloween uh, which is fine <laughs> but um, anyway I, I wanted to give a recap so um, so we started on the second which was a Sunday we ended yesterday and our whole family did it together and I've talked a little bit about the reasons that we did that but more than me being excited about having finished it myself I'm actually super excited for my kids to have finished it because they've now done something that most other kids their age would not do or they wouldn't do it with such a good attitude and my kids were so sweet about it and we had like one meltdown and one time someone was trying to get into candy <laughs> but other than that um, they were so so good about it and and so that was encouraging to me um, so overall I like I like I said I was out of town before we started this and so I had weighed myself before I left and I intended to do measurements but I didn't get to that and so um, so I could tell throughout the month that I was definitely losing some kind of inches because um, my belt kept getting looser like I actually in the middle of the month had to go buy a different one what's up It doesn't matter right now. Okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I knew that my, my belt was getting loose, and so I, I figured that I was probably losing weight, but at the very least, I was losing inches. So, um, so in the middle of the month, I had to go buy another belt because my belt was no longer useful. I was on the last rung, and it was not holding my pants up. So, um, so anyway, I had, I had that, but one of the rules to the Whole30 is that you cannot weigh yourself for the whole 30 days. And one of the reasons for that is that this is a reset on the way that we view food. So it's not um, it's not a diet, it's, a, it's designed for you to rethink what food is for. So if we're compulsively weighing ourselves, we have a poor relationship with food because that should not be what matters. The number on the scale does not indicate health. You can be very thin and very unhealthy. You can be overweight and be doing all you can to eat well and exercise. So. The number on the scale is relatively irrelevant. That's fun to say. Say that five times fast. Um, so anyway, so I, I had a hunch that I was maybe losing a little bit of weight, at least losing some fat. But what I noticed was that um, up until the last couple days, I'm not sure what was going on there, but uh, the rest of the month I was sleeping really well. My kids were sleeping really well. Um, my kids that sometimes wet the bed were doing it less frequently. I don't know if that was related, but I found it interesting. Um, and overall, it seemed like there was maybe a slight improvement in the attitudes in the house. I know that even prior to this, I already knew that sugar was something that made me angry. <laughs> it would it would increase my anxiety, and it would um, it would make me just not as pleasant. And so that that was one of the reasons that I was already watching my sugar intake because. I know that I'm not as pleasant when I'm consuming much of it. And so even if I'm consuming the good sugars, like we basically use maple syrup and honey and coconut sugar, which are good in terms of the glycemic index and the, the, um, the processing that goes into it. They're, they're better sugars if you look at it that way. But either way, they, I could see that they were having some level of impact on my mood. So I noticed that I seem to be a little bit more relaxed than I have been in the past, well, since I've had children. So however many years that is that I've been not so relaxed. Um, so that was interesting to see. And then, um, again, I wished that I had measured myself because I would be really curious to know. I know one of my friends said that my face has slimmed out, which I thought, okay, I don't see that, so good for you. Um, another thing that I noticed that I mentioned uh, somewhere, I don't know if it was here or not, but was that my fingers have gotten thin.
thinner. So, um, so backstory on my wedding rings. I had, um, when did I have my rings? Oh, right, when Macy was born, she, I had that normal pregnancy swelling that most people get in their hands and I had to take my rings off when I was like six months pregnant with her. And then after she was born, I just, did, I don't know what the hearts, oh, that's so fun, thank you. I don't, I don't even know what those are for. Um, after she was born, I couldn't get them back on. And I, I didn't know why, I mean, obviously I had some kind of inflammation going on, but I didn't know what it was. So I waited a year and a half and then I decided, this is stupid, I need to just size my rings up because I would like to look married, especially because I'm walking around town with six kids. So, um, so I went ahead and sized them up. So that was when she was 18 months old. So she turned three this summer and um, throughout the course of last winter, I noticed that my fingers were slimming down a little bit, but I was, I was hesitant to resize them because it's winter and my hands are cold and somehow that makes them feel looser. So anyway, so I waited. So then this summer, um, I finally decided to size them down. Well, it was late summer. Um, September, I think. It was either August or September. Finally sized my rings down. They were fitting perfectly. I didn't feel like they were going to fly off my fingers anymore. And then um, I did the whole 30, and now I kind of feel like they're going to fall off my fingers again. <laughs> so that's a weird place to lose weight. And I don't think it was really weight, but for me it was inflammation. And I'm not sure what it is that I'm eating that's creating the inflammation, but I think that I've definitely become more aware of how the food that I'm eating affects me. Um, another thing that I noticed after we got to about the third week of the Whole30 was that I wasn't in pain when I got out of bed, so I sound like an old person saying that. Um, but I, I would say to Daniel, why am I, like, why do I feel old? I feel old. Like, I get up, my hips hurt, and I have to kind of, like, lunge as I get out of bed because my body is going, whoa, what is this? Um, so I noticed that that was gone at about three weeks, and um, so that was an interesting, happy change. And then I, we weighed ourselves this morning. I didn't actually ask my husband what he weighed when he started. I have a ballpark figure, but um, but I lost 11 pounds, which was kind of surprising to me. Like I knew I was losing some inches, but the pounds were actually kind of surprising. So that was pretty fun. Um, and I shared in my uh, team group this morning that I I don't remember the, I don't remember the last time I weighed this. So that's kind of fun. And I, I know that a number is just a number, and I already said that the number on the scale doesn't really matter. But to me, it represents that, you know, I did this. I said I was going to do it. I offered a challenge up to myself, and I completed it. And um, so not only just that number, but that's, that's confidence for me. And it's affirmation that what I was doing before was not maybe what I needed to be doing or not the thing that was best for me to be doing, for sure. And that's dessert. <laughs> there are a lot of paleo desserts out there, you guys. <laughs> so, so at this point, the reintroduction phase is where we are. So we're on day one of reintroducing foods that we were eating before. I'm not going to reintroduce gluten because I already know that I would be very sick. So that's not on my agenda at all. But um, today we've done just, we've, we've allowed ourselves the... I don't know what they're called, but like the sneaky sugars that are just in foods. I'm sorry, my kids keep going in and out the door. The sugars that are just in foods as an additive. So um, this morning we had bacon, our regular bacon that we buy from Seven Sons, and it's super delicious, but we had not had any bacon all month, so it was amazing. And we had lots of bacon. And then um, and then I got to drink Binding Shred, which I chose not to drink during the Whole30 because it has like a tea amount of stevia and so it's my favorite it's delicious and it's my my supplement so that was a little rough but I got to drink it today and I might have taken two shots of Ningxia Red so um so that was fun and then what else oh we're gonna have a little bit of a chocolate bar today so cocoa is allowed on the whole 30 but not sugar and so I have this organic chocolate bar that I love and I have not had in several months so we're going to share some of that today. And then um, probably for dinner, we're going to have pork, which, uh, again, is it's breakfast pork, so it already has a little bit of sugar in it. So that's where we're starting. Uh, they have some recommendations on where to start when you reintroduce. Um, and then the idea is to space out your reintroductions a little bit so you have a feel for if, if you do have a reaction, you don't want to um, 
you know, reintroduce everything on the same day. Like you don't want to go from a Whole30 to a pizza. Not only would you probably be sick, but you wouldn't have any idea if one of those things was the problem rather than all of them. So it could be the gluten, it could be the dairy in the cheese, it could be the tomato in the sauce, um, it could be the toppings. So anyway, so we're in that slow reintroduction period and my kids can't wait for corn so we can go out for Mexican. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to do that recap. Um, maybe I'll drag my husband on to do a recap later for him. I know that he had some um, pretty significant changes as well that he saw. So. That is all for today. Just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you guys have any questions on the Whole30, I'm not an expert, but shoot them over and I'll see if I can answer them. I would love for lots of you to jump on board if you were interested. And actually in January, we're probably going to be doing another group. And it won't be exclusive to my, um, my Facebook uh, Young Living team this time. So I'll probably make a new group for that. So if any of you are interested in that, let me know. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. We'll see you guys later.